Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, July 7, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Deuteronomy chapter 30, reading verse 16. And it says, In that I command thee this day, to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments, and his statutes, and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply, and the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. And I say, Amen. We thank God for his word of reminder this morning. And as the reading says to us this morning that God expects us and asks us and command us to do what? To keep his word in our hearts. Mm -hmm. He says that I command thee this day that thou what? Walk in my way. So we must walk in the ways of God. And we must do what? Keep his commandments. So when we walk in his way and keep his commandments and his statutes, when we are obedient to his words and we keep them, keep his judgment, then what? He will allow us to multiply. He will bless our lives. He will give us increase. He will give us long lives. He will bless us wherever we go. So there's a blessing that is pronounced an obedience to God. If you want to are obedient to God, then God promises to bless us. That's what it's saying here. And so, therefore means that if God is if God is going to bless us on account of keeping his commandments and his statutes, it therefore means that it cannot be that his commandments is invalid. Do you understand? So I know the the saying out there today is that God's commandments are of none effect. They are null and void. They are abolished. They are uh, no more. They have no more relevance. But we all know that's a lie. We all know that's not scripture. And so that's not the way to go. Because if you and I refuse to keep the commandments and the statutes, it therefore means that we become disobedient and we renounce the blessing that God promised to give to us. Are we seeing this? Because what did the reading say? When we walk, uh -huh, when we walk in his ways, not our ways. So I making the commandment null and void doesn't make it null and void because I am not God. Only God can abolish his law. And there's no scripture in the word of God that tells us so. Understand? And so we are to follow what the Lord is saying. And that is why many of the times we cannot receive the blessings that God has in store for us. You know? Because we want to do things our way. We want to follow our guidance, our leading, our counsel. And often time, all the time, it leads in a path that brings us sorrow and pain. And then we complain to say that it is God's fault or God not blessing us as he promised and so he's a liar and he, we try to pass the blame and the buck to God so many times for our shortcomings for our mistakes but God is saying if you only follow the path that I have given you if you are only obedient to my words if you are only faithful in my commands if you only live by the words I say, then you have nothing to worry about because what? I already promise you that I will bless you for your faithfulness. Amen? And so if we remain faithful to God, then God will keep his end of the bargain. He won't disappoint us. And that is what we have to understand. We are in a covenant with God. We are in a contract, so to speak. So upon us being faithful to him, then what? We will receive the, because that's the clause, you know. Think about it. 
the contract think about it like a contract if you sign a contract to do something and in the contract it says that when you do this thing you will get this thing now if you don't sign the contract or if you sign the contract and you don't follow through with whatever is agreed in the contract do you expect to get the benefits that the contract allow do you see what i'm saying and so what the word of god is saying that when we keep god's law when we enter into this agreement to follow his commandments to keep his status to keep his judgment then what he will help us what to live and to multiply and he will bless us wherever it is that we go you don't want it more clearer than that it's as simple as that god blessings comes with obedience that's it and so may god help us that we will be obedient to his will so that we can in turn be recipients of his blessings and i say amen god bless you